from NASDAQ's Market Site, I'm your host, Christina Ayanian. And joining me today is Yaki Fadelson, co-founder and CEO of Veronis. Yaki, thank you so much for joining. Thanks. Welcome back to NASDAQ. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Now, data security is such a hot topic in mm -hmm. cybersecurity, and it's only getting bigger. Mm -hmm. You've been in, in this industry for a while. What's changed and developed over the years? So definitely AI makes this problem of data security more urgent and more complex. The other issue that if you look at most of the big breaches, there are data breaches. And the reality that most of these organizations that suffer from these breaches have what we call the modern security stack primarily oriented towards the perimeter. They have endpoint security, modern firewall, a SIM to collect the logs, and it's ending up with just a big breach. The reality is that bad actors, they are not breaking in, they are logging in. Most of the effort is to get an identity, to compromise an identity, and then they are abusing what we call the blast radius. If you talk, take an identity today, a human user, or what we call a service account, many times more than 90% of the data that this identity can access is not relevant to the identity, and organizations can't monitor it and at all or can't monitor it effectively. And the other thing is, Insiders are the biggest uh, risk of all. If you think about these breaches that change the course of history, Snowden and WikiLeaks. So organizations understand that in order to protect data and that the biggest risk is data breaches, they need a data security platform that will do that. Which is also why automation is so important. Yeah. You speak with hundreds of CISOs and you mentioned AI. How are they incorporating AI into their security practices? Yes, I think what is happening is that first and foremost, you need to understand that AI is just putting this huge spotlight on the data security exposure. And CISOs want essentially three things. They want to make sure that they don't have a data breach. They want to make sure that they will not get compliance fines. And they want to make sure that they will do it in an effortless, uh, in an effortless way. And what happened is that if you look at the stuff that related to AI. So you have productivity, tremendous productivity tools like uh, Microsoft Copilot and you know stuff from Salesforce and many others that essentially what they are doing, they are inhaling all the access control that they have that, that is available for them. Think about it like a Pac-Man from hell that just going and grabbing everything that it can. And, it's, uh, and in instantly, end users can find critical data and just create critical da data at a staggering rate outside of policy. And this is a huge, huge, huge risk. The other problem that you have is poisoning of LLM models. Think about, let's say a big, for an example, a big healthcare provider that need to do decisions based on the information that goes in. If you poison it and you put the wrong information into the model, you can have catastrophic results from the answer that will come back from, uh, from the model. So in order to make sure that organizations can use AI to get tremendous productivity gains, they need to make sure that they are using the right AI to protect. The robots need to protect against the robots. You mentioned Microsoft and Salesforce. How is Veronis incorporating AI into its practices to gain that competitive advantage? Yes, yeah, so Veronis has a tremendous benefits from AI, first and foremost, that we have an unbelievable data set. So you need all these sensors and you need to build a data set that you can use. So to understand abnormal behavior, what is healthy, what is not healthy, we have just, in my opinion, the best data set in the world for right or wrong and, and wrong usage, uh, usage, or, uh, usage of data. But the other thing that we are doing, we, we have an approach that's called find, fix, alert. So what we are doing is we finding, uh, data, auto, finding data automatically we remove the blast radius automatically and we alert and stop on any abnormal behavior. We are doing to data security what uh, the banking industry did for credit cards. You offer that holistic end-to-end -end approach. Holistic end-to-end -end approach. And taking that heavy lifting off so these companies can focus on their strategic business goals. Exactly. And you will take we, care of we, Yeah, we so. believe that organizations need to build solutions from vendors and then the products need to do almost everything for them. It's definitely an exciting space to be in. And Veronis has had tremendous success in your data security platform. And you also recently made an acquisition. Congratulations. Tell me about that. 
Yeah, we bought Cyril, a, a database activity monitoring company with a very novel approach. They are doing it via proxy. So we have a very vast data security platforms that, that is a focusing on three main things. Automation, to make sure that we deliver these automated outcomes. Coverage, uh, to make sure that uh, Wherever you have critical data, we are going to protect it and convenience. As you said, that the customer will do very little and we will do all the heavy lifting for them. And a lot of the world's most critical information is stored in databases. We have tremendous success with classifying databases and looking at uh, administrators' uh, behavior on the databases. With this company, we can go uh, much deeper, and this is something that our customers want. And it's almost inevitable that all the data security use cases needs to come from one platform. And we, you know, we have the best platform, and we want to make sure that it's going very wide and very deep to provide these automated outcomes. That's amazing. It's that single point solution. Exactly. So what comes next? So for us, it's exactly what, what I said. We want to protect the, the world's information and we want, want to do it completely automatically. You know, a lot of people, you know, they talk about AI, but we are really leveraging AI in a very efficient and profound way. We have this, we have this data set, and then what we do with AI, we classify AI, we classify data automatically without input from the end user. We have this user behavior analytics to make sure, uh, to make sure that if there is any abnormal behavior, we can alert on it, and then uh, we can uh, prevent it. We are using AI for, for natural language communication that an end user, you can use the system, you can talk about it the same way that we are talking to human without any learning curve, and it will give you all the information. And the other thing that we are doing, we have this managed data detection and response service to make sure that organizations even don't need to look at the alerts, don't do anything, just buy the platform and without effort, we will provide everything for you. So we have these security agents that almost taking all the alerts and closing them without any human interaction. Oh. We build a world-class team of analysts, the best of the best that these robots are augmenting, are, are, are augmenting these humans to make sure that they are working 24 by seven for our customers. So if, if you have this service, you have the best people in the world with an army of super efficient robots that are working for you. And our mission is to make sure that our customers don't have a data breach and in an automated effortless way to secure the world information. And I think with the age of AI, what you will see the data will grow relentlessly and it will grow on many platforms. And the company's mission is, in my miss, mission, is to protect the world's information and believe that we can do it very, very well. That's amazing. Well, we wish you much continued success. Thank you so much for joining and we're grateful for our partnership. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me.